What brings you here? Ah, uh, journey of a lifetime. I think this, like, since I was a child, the first book I opened, which is the path less travelled by. Uh, yeah, I remember that. First book I read, and then uh, it's just been a constant um, searching, and then I had um, an awakening in my twenties. But I heard a recording today and I think, because I went into very deep grief after that and uh, it kind of just lasted a day where I was realised I was everything and everything was me and all the stuff I'd been told by the church and everything was just a complete lie. <laughs> and, mm. uh, yeah, so now I'm going through the process of um, realising that this stuff that's going on in the head is exactly the same <laughs> but it's taken me years it's taken me like what 25 30 40, 20 something years on that kind of journey of like sadness and um mm -hmm. yearning grief yeah massively mm -hmm. yeah yeah because it was just it was so beautiful it was just pure love yeah and then and the, and the words as well. I was given words, um, uh, just that the that that God or whatever you want to call it is here in the heart, not up here in the third body. Was <laughs> just sitting there, and nobody can go there. Only yourself and God. And um, um, yeah, and that it, it wasn't up there. It's not when you die. It's, it's actually here right now. This is heaven, <laughs> but we can't see it because, like, we've got all this stuff in our heads and all the conditioning and everything else. Mm. But I, even though I know that intellectually, I can't get beyond it and um, and f and experience it. And maybe there's a yearning to experience, and I need to stop that as well. So yeah, want, wanting it back is the is a pitfall. Because it would only yeah. be a, a me that is yearning to want it back. And whilst the wanting is there, it stays out of reach. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what I think has happened. But it's taken me a lot, that yearning, 20-something years. And it's like, where's that? And it's gone in the blink of an eye all that time. Yeah, you know? no, I understand. I do understand. Um, okay, so how long have you been into non-duality? Um, well, I didn't understand really what well, I was being given. Uh, I felt the expansion on my body expanded. Um, this kind of, I can't explain it. I just felt pure love and, and energy go down from my head down. But I, um, I've never had anybody explain it to me and, and there's no books now I can read. I've I've done with all the books. I can't be reading any more books. And um I'm always checking in to just one person I follow, which is Shunya Murti. And he talks a bit, kind of touches on it um in, in some ways, but I've never really I can't I can't understand what's going on within me um and what it is I'm I'm sort of dealing with. Um I know there's something there because I can feel it, there's a peace. So I would say really it's only the understanding I've come to it just recently because I just came on your YouTube clips, uh, I think it was two two days ago, and then I started playing quite a few of them. And then I thought. And then I realised it had been 20-something years where I'd been um, sitting with this grief, not knowing. And then I thought, this is the what I'm looking or what I'm trying to understand is why is my mind creating all the dramas, all the pain, all the suffering? And, and then it's only, I suppose, the last two days, coming back to your question, <laughs> that I've kind of realised that it's, du it's duality and non-duality that I'm looking at. And the duality, non, the duality being the brain, and now I understand because I, um, growing up as well, uh, I think they, they say sometimes, don't they? Sort of pain and hardship and different things, kind of pushes you to 
in a, in a kind of a positive way to um, down maybe down this road. I don't know maybe this. I don't know why that is, but I I went through a period of depression and I cleared that. So I feel that energy. I don't connect with that anymore. Um, so that's gone. And now <clears throat> I've got anxiety, which is coming up. Um, and that comes up, you know, through in the mornings. And um, But then listening to your uh, talks that you've done, you know, with other people, which I, it was like really hitting home, like this mind is... It's, I mean, it's useful, yes, I understand, but it, it's just like repetitive stuff. And, um, and yeah, and you've got all that conditioning and all the stuff that the government say and your mum and dad say and <laughs> ancestors mm. have passed down to your mum and dad. And mm. so it's like you've got all that. I've got all that stuff there. So, mm. yeah. So that stuff that you're referring to, which is, let's just for argument's sake, call it mind chatter. Yeah. Mm. It would only be a problem if it was referring to a person, would it not? In other words, it would only be a problem if it was referring to whom you take yourself to be. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? So I've identified with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that begs the question, who's identifying with it? Well, that's what I'm beginning to understand um, mm. in some crazy way. I can't explain that, but I'm thinking, actually, you know, I, I, I was driving today and I could see almost like through the wind, like through the through the crack of like with a sense, with a, I can't, it wasn't even with my mind, it was this understanding that, the mind is the mind is connecting with all that stuff and that stuff is showing itself all the time all the time all the time but there is a a, a like a passageway through it and like just are you, I'm only getting seconds of it it's okay it's okay it's okay who's it showing all the stuff to it's showing all the stuff to Mm. Mind is chatting away, yeah? Yeah. Who's it talking to? That, that part of me that wants to know. Um, Hang on, hold on, yeah. That part of me, when you say me, whom are you referring to? Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be it's okay. Yeah, it's Yvonne. It's Yvonne, okay. isn't it? Yvonne. Well, yeah. there's a belief that it's Yvonne. Yeah. But what's a belief? Um it's like a pattern, uh, an instruction, um, an understanding that you've acquired. Good. And the absence of all thought, could there be a belief? No, it'd be complete freedom. Well, you don't know that. <laughs> no, I that's, don't know that. That's, <laughs> no, <I'm sorry>. yeah. that's <laughs> an assumption. Yeah, that's it's an, an assumption. assumption. Yeah. So does not belief simply rise, arise as a thought? Yeah. Good. Have you come to say you're not the thinker? Only just today I'm starting to see that the gap between me as the thinker and this, this. Is there a me as a thinker? No, because I think these... I think these thoughts are just thoughts. It's like they're just thoughts. It's all thoughts. Everything that happens mm -hmm. in here, mm -hmm. it's not really in here, but for the sake of the argument, 
everything. It's all thoughts, including, mm -hmm. including, I wish I could get out of these thoughts. That too is a thought, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. And Good. I did so, that today. I was like thinking and I was talking to myself, but I am no thoughts. These thoughts are separate to me. And then I thought, no, that's thinking as well. And and I just to even engage with it is a thought. Good, good, good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. However, for a little while, at least, yeah, you and I are going to have to engage in thoughts. We're going to have to engage in words. So we're going to have to speak dualistically because all language is dualistic. Do you understand mm -hmm. that? All language. Yeah. Yeah. Dualistic. So we're going to have to speak dualistically yeah, mm -hmm. to try and get to the truth. Mm -hmm. okay. I remember Thomas Aquinas, sorry, before you say that, he, he, he um, it was a book I read years ago and, and he went into silence because he just knew talking was just futile. Even a, and, and what, look, Words and speaking are only pointers. Yeah. They're pointing, they're constantly pointing to something mm -hmm. that we're trying to get you to take a look at. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what is it that creates Yvonne? Well, I would say spirit, the the energy that put me here, the, the 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 energy that I refer to that I know is in my heart. But also I know that there's a flesh part to me. So that that kind of that's like the body part, which is the physical. Let me I ask you this. So. Let me ask you this. Could Yvonne be created in the absence of all thoughts? I guess the Yvonne that I think I am or that, that mental side of the brain saying is that forms the Yvonne that I think or that I've associated with but in truth, I guess we're just a spark of the whole. Just, I don't know. Yeah. And without a thought, there wouldn't even be an, an understanding of a spark of a whole, would there? No. <laughs> no, so I'm back to thought again. It's all right, it's good, yeah. So I'm not sure how many of the videos of mine you've watched, but... If I had the capacity to create amnesia in you right now, and I'm talking about personal amnesia, yeah, mm -hmm. not objective amnesia, you'd still know a laptop is a laptop and a door is a door and a table is a table and so on, yeah, mm -hmm. but personal amnesia, everything that Yvonne is based on. So if I could create amnesia in you and now all of a sudden you couldn't remember where you were born, didn't know your name, didn't know what culture you were born into, didn't know if you were married, not married, whether you had kids, didn't know what you did for a living, just mm -hmm. gone, yeah? Mm -hmm. Would it still be Yvonne sitting here? No, it would be that which was there before, that which was there before all those thoughts and conditioning. Yeah. That 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 you, that that you were when you were around one year yeah. of age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had, you hadn't learnt language yet. It, it like being reborn, I guess. It like being rebirthed in a way. You don't know. You don't know. That, that's that's don't that, know, that, no. drop yeah, drop that idea because you don't know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah, it's an assumption. Yeah, and I just try and let's just try and deal with facts if we can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So given that I've just used that amnesia analogy, yeah. Mm -hmm. What is Yvonne? Mm. 
in truth, probably this peace, this internal peace, this energy. Yeah, but would that internal peace and energy be called Yvonne? No. So because the question Yvonne's is... Yvonne's been created, hasn't it? Been created. Right. So <laughs> your, the, the character that you're taking yourself to be is dependent upon a backstory, is it not? Memory. Yeah. 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 Good. Then we eliminate the memory, and I, then I would ask you, now who's sitting here with me? When I take the memory away. Amnesia. You have no memory. You don't know who you are. So now the question, you, and, and just because that occurred, it wouldn't mean you'd fall off the chair dead, would it? No. Right. So now who'd be sitting, who'd be sitting here with you? A mm -hmm. blank screen, a blank screen. Um, the question there, screen. good, good. Would it be Yvonne sitting here with me? No, because I wouldn't have the labels, the connection to good. that. Good, 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 good. So what's Yvonne? The sum of all the conditioning and story. That which I Thought I was the story, yeah, and the story. That's a, yeah. a story, isn't it? Yeah. Your backstory yeah. is a story yeah, yeah, about yeah. Yvonne. Yeah. True. Yeah. 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 It's that same backstory that creates the idea, the very idea of who Yvonne is. I'm a good person. I'm not a good person. I've got high self esteem. I've got very low self esteem. I get depressed all the time. I don't experience depression much at all, blah, blah whatever. Right? Creates the story. It, it creates an idea of Yvonne via thoughts, mm -hmm. with thoughts. Because mm -hmm. in the absence of those thoughts, e.g., amnesia, Yvonne mm -hmm. disappears. Mm -hmm. Something remains sitting here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. And this that remains sitting here, up till now, you've believed it's Yvonne. Up till now, yes. You with me? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Happens around the age of two, yeah. Mind hijacks. <laughs> I mean, this is just a way of trying to establish what happens, yeah. Mind hijacks or thoughts hijacks this presence, this beingness, this aliveness, this awareness, this state of consciousness that you're experiencing right now, it hijacks that and starts calling it me or Yvonne. Thoughts do that. Because if we eliminate the thoughts, which all we're doing is eliminating memory of personal Yvonne, if we eliminate the thoughts, Yvonne disappears. There is no Yvonne. Mm -hmm. You with me? Yeah, you can't me. eliminate. How do you eliminate the thoughts? <laughs> no, it's not about. It's not about eliminating the thoughts. It's coming to see what Yvonne is. Because in the absence of a thought, Yvonne disappears. But something it'd still be sitting here conscious aware alive seeing hearing tasting touching and smelling mm -hmm. yeah. and that's something that would mm -hmm. remain in the if amnesia occurred that's something that would remain yeah is that that's being sought by an apparent yvonne entity an apparent yvonne entity yeah, mind or thoughts via your conditioning, like you've said, yeah, creates an idea of Yvonne, doesn't it? Yeah. Depending on what family you were born into and yeah, culture yeah. and whether you're abused or not abused as you were growing up as a child, yeah, it's thoughts that sculpt or create an idea of Yvonne. True. Yeah, true. Yeah. And then the thoughts are taken to be who and what I am. 
what those thoughts are saying is who and what I am. Yeah. That's what we believe. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. All right. So is it possible for Yvonne to be conscious? Be conscious. What when you say conscious? Aware. Aware. You want to be aware. No, because it's thoughts, isn't it? It's a story, story. isn't it? Unless, story. unless, and it'll, unless... And, it, and it'll keep reverting back to that story, and and then it'll Correct. start to question. Correct. Yeah, and that that's questioning the story is mm -hmm. the story. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. So all that's so happening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So all, all that's happening is there's a whole lot of mind chatter going on. Yeah. Yeah. Including, oh, I wish these thoughts would go away. That's in the mind chatter as well. Yeah. <laughs> or I wish I had that experience back that I had 20 years ago. That's also in the mind chatter. Yeah. Yeah. But perhaps yeah. up to now, you've been taking those thoughts, oh, I wish I had that experience back that I had 20 years ago. You've been taking those thoughts to be your thoughts as though there's an entity there, a person there, having those thoughts. True? Yeah. Yeah, that's, everyone's doing that. Yeah. 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 Okay. So if it's you that's having those thoughts, for example, oh, I wish I had that experience back that I had 20 years ago and I'm grieving over that experience. I want that back because that was open. It was love. It was chakras. Right? <laughs> that, that story going on. Huh? <laughs> and it came through pain as well, which was like incredible, but and it slammed yeah. me back into it. Yeah, but I mean, let, let, let's, you know, that story that, that you know, has been there for as long as you can remember, the story of Yvonne, yeah, that story, yeah. yeah. Is that story conscious? No, because it's ever shifting. It's it's. Um... Can it be aware? Can the story be aware? Can the story see, hear, taste, touch, smell? Can the story experience touch? Is the story no. conscious and aware? The story. You understand what I mean by aware? It can't be. Right? No, but it Good. creates a lot of suffering, which kind of masks. Good. That feeling of you know that 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 being aware. And it, and, and it, what and we're doing, what, what we're feeling. what we're doing, what we're doing at the moment, Yvonne, is we're dismantling this mm. idea of Yvonne. Okay. You have to dismantle that because whilst mm. you're taking yourself to be that character, you'll remain mm. searching forever. I know, and that's what I'm. It's been a painful journey. I can't tell you what. I just think I wish I'd never opened any books or like, you know, I, but I understand. I found the back. I understand. But what just came out of your mouth then was also a story of your voice. Yeah. It's okay. I'm just got, got to get you to see it. That's all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you yeah. see that? Yeah. yeah. It's a story of Yvonne. Right. Now, let me ask you this. To experience something, can we agree in principle that you'd have to be conscious? Yes. Because if you're anaesthetized, it's lights out, you don't experience anything. They can operate on your body, you don't feel pain. Yeah. So mm -hmm. in principle, to, to experience anything, you have to be conscious, true? Yes. Good. Are you experiencing thoughts on a daily basis? Are you aware? Of thoughts on a daily basis. Yes, and too many of too many thoughts. Yes, 
Yes. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But you are aware of them, aren't you? Yeah. Good. Can the story be aware of this that's aware of the story? Can the story be aware of this? Are you conscious? Are you conscious? When I say this, are you conscious right now? Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. So, so can the story be conscious yeah. of or aware of this that's conscious of the story? No, because it's separate. It's thoughts. It's stuff. It's just stuff. It's just like... I just keep saying like a dustbin. It's just like it's just like kind of thoughts. You know that there's one seat of consciousness. You experience one point of consciousness, mm. not two. If you experience two, you'd be in deep shit. You would know who the hell you were or where you were. You experience mm. one point of consciousness, and that's right here, right now. Okay, and it's from here right now that you are aware of thoughts correct yes good and we've established that thoughts or the story can't be aware of this that's conscious of the story or the thoughts yeah we've established that good yes. we've also established that to experience something one needs to be conscious true yes good what's the story based on then if it's not conscious. Just a collection of um, thoughts and people, people's opinions. Um, remember, remember, a... remember, it's not conscious. It's not aware. The story mm -hmm. is not aware. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So can't be aware of someone's opinion or another person. Uh, okay. Can it? No. So what's the story based on? If the story itself is not conscious, what the hell is it based on? Because the story will say, I had an experience 10 years ago, I fell over and I broke my leg skiing. I'm making that up, right? Mm. Yeah, it might be part of the story, yeah? yeah? But the story doesn't experience breaking a leg or even skiing. The story doesn't experience that. Does it? No. It doesn't. So no. what the hell is the story based on? We agreed a moment ago that to experience anything, we have to be conscious. And it's the mind, the storyteller, yeah, that's making up a story, I'm experiencing something, says the mind, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it would need to be conscious to, to experience something. Mm -hmm. So you is get it that? Lie? Are lies or...? Absolutely. <laughs> Whatever it's saying is not true. So where including, does it get it from? In, including, not... hang on, including I am Yvonne, I'm a person, I'm an individual, I'm separate from everybody else, I'm grieving because I lost an experience 20 years ago. What's important here to see yeah, is, is it Yvonne making up that story? But it is, isn't it? No, Yvonne thought, is the story. The thoughts, the thoughts, which is Yvonne. Yvonne is the story. But I don't understand where if it's if I'm experiencing this as consciousness. Mm -hmm. So how do then thoughts develop if the th if the thoughts and they're not part of that experience? 
More to the point, more to the point, who is Yvonne? 